Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to look at the year 2024 yet again, but from a different perspective. So we've looked at the animal sign outlook, we've looked at the day master outlook for 2024, and today we're going to have a deep dive into the Ximen Destiny Palace. Um, we're going to look at four Destiny Palaces today and in the next session at the other four. Now, Ximen Destiny is um, another metaphysical uh, science that we often use to uh, check what the year may bring for us. So we're not just looking at the Baal's astrology chart, but also at the Ximen Destiny chart to see what uh, you are likely going to encounter in the upcoming year. Now, in order to see this, First, you will have to plot your team and destiny chart, or you actually have to know where your team and destiny palace is. You don't need the entire chart. So you go to this link here that I have displayed on the screen. I'll also put the link in the description to the video. And what's very important is that you actually do know your time of birth. In order to plot an accurate team and destiny chart, you will have to know the time of birth as well or at least approximately. So enter that and you will get a, a table like this. And the focus point here is what is highlighted, uh, the palace of destiny, yeah? your destiny or team and destiny palace. In this case here, it's the Southeast. So it may be anything Northwest, Southeast, Southwest, anything at all. You check what your personal uh, destiny palace is. Now, the Destiny Palace stays with you the entire your entire life. It doesn't change. Uh, however, on an, on an annual basis, we have certain semen structures, semen uh, formations and components fly into your personal semen Destiny Palace. And that will uh, somehow shift the outcome for you in a particular year. It will bring obstacles, challenges, uh, things to look out for. And this is what we're going to look at in this session and then also in the next one where we're looking at the other four palaces. So uh, in this session, we're looking at um, the South, the Southwest, the West and the Northwest Destiny Palaces. So if your Destiny Palace is in one of those four, then this session is for you. So um, this is the annual team and chart. So this is not what your uh, personal destiny chart looks like. This is the annual chart. And based on this chart, we are then looking at what kind of components are actually overlapping with your particular uh, destiny palace. Now, if your destiny palace in the South, then what the, the visiting components for you are uh, the hero star, the scenery door, and the black tortoise. And we've also got a double sin metal here. So these are essentially the, the components, the team and components that are visiting you for this particular year. And they have a particular impact on how the year pans out for you. So if your um, team and destiny palace is in the South, then um, you have a bit of a mixed bag in 2024. On one hand, you've got the scenery door, which is actually really good because it brings happy events, it brings celebrations, and just generally sort of like a happy outlook. Now, what you have to do with this particular component is to make use of it, is to recognize that life is actually fun. Yeah, that it's fun to be alive, that it's good to be alive. Experience being alive, yeah, kind of, get out of your comfort zone, do things that really make you feel alive. And, um, you know, ideally celebrate life, celebrate small wins, and just make sure that whatever you do, create a happy environment for yourself. You need, you need to do things that make you happy in 2024. Then this scenery door energy really, really kicks in. So create a happy environment, um, actually evaluate what does happiness mean to you specifically yeah create an environment that facilitates that particular happiness uh, that 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 you perceive now with the hero star usually comes um uh, reputation increase in reputation now obviously uh, we want to have an increase in good reputation yeah we don't want to have an increase in bad reputation so usually what you think of yourself and what others think of yourself, somewhere in between, that's where your reputation, your actually re actual reputation lies. 
Um, so what you need to do is to consciously build up your reputation. And it's not, I'm not talking just about social media branding and all of that. We all do that, but it's not just that. It's what you do consistently in your real life. Do not be fake in 2024. Yeah, you really kind of need to make sure that you come across as authentic and um, that you that you become relatable to people. A lot of times, uh, yes, we have a certain persona online and social media. On social media, everything always looks very happy and good, but our real life may not be like that. Uh, and for you, if your destiny palace is in 2024, you actually need to come across as authentic and relatable. Um, if you do that, you, especially if you're an influencer, if you are online and if you're thriving online, um, you, you can actually amass crazy fans. Yeah. They're not just clients. They're real crazy fans and fans don't care about your fees. Yeah. They will pay regardless. Um, but you have to not be fake. That is really, really key. You have to command attention and that will control the flow of wealth. But commanding that attention is just for you being done by being real. Yeah. Don't put out a fake image. If you don't have a good day, say so. Yeah. This is important. Um, now, the black tortoise here helps you understand people and markets. So somehow you will have a much better intuition uh, in about what people really want. Uh, what the market really wants. And this helps you impact lives. If you and your work can make an impact in 2024, then this will benefit you in the long run. And then lastly, with the Sin Metal here, um, this makes you a little bit susceptible to scams and people who want to cheat you. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. If something sounds too good to be true, it's most likely too good to be true. So don't fall for the scams, all right? So, um, but other than that, it looks like quite a good year for you, just from a team and perspective. Um, again, watch your reputation and make sure that you actually create a good harmonious environment for yourself at home, at the office. It doesn't matter where you are, just make yourself happy. All right. Now, the next one here we're looking at is the Southwest. Now, People who have the Destiny Palace in the Southwest, they may have a bit of a challenging year in 2024. It doesn't mean that you have a difficult year, but there could be some challenges. Um, first of all, you're going to probably feel a little bit uncertain about yourself. There's a lot of fear and uncertainty that causes you to make a lot of bad decisions, especially when it comes to changing jobs, markets, investments, whatever. So the the strategy here is rather than just being afraid uh, don't take um important decisions all by yourself run them by someone who is objective who has information about the field or the industry in which you want to make a decision in before you actually take your own decision uh because you may you may not see all the angles here so always make sure that you consult with someone else now we do have the grain star and the death door the death door is something people are afraid of just because the name in, in, the, the name death is associated with this. Um, it doesn't mean that you're going to die. No, nobody's going to die. <laughs> so that's uh, that's something that you need to keep in mind. The death door per se is not actually a problem. Uh, oftentimes, it actually helps you with investing. It helps you with starting something new because when something dies, something new can start. So that's usually something good or you can end a particular bad habit or you can end a toxic relationship. So that's also implied with the with the death door. However, uh, when the death door appears together with the grain star, you have to be a little bit careful with your health. Um, you need to do something to prevent health problems. So ideally start now to actually uh, change your health regimen around. Make sure that you live a really, really healthy life in 2024 as much as possible. So if you can quit smoking, if you're a smoker, then quit smoking, right? It should be easier because the death door is anywhere, anyway there. And the death door helps you give up on bad habits, all right? So smoking is a bad habit, give it up. 
uh, eat healthier, exercise. And also what we want to do here in uh, for those who have the Southwest as their destiny palace, ideally at the beginning of the year, maybe already now in January, but latest in February, do go for a checkup just a health checkup to make sure that you're actually starting the year with the best medical advice, ideally with the best health, health, and then just go from there. Um, with the white tiger also in the Southwest, you may also need to be a bit careful with, um, with sports injuries, for example. The white tiger is quite an aggressive force. It, may, force, it makes us very active. Uh, but when you're very active and when you want to use all that energy, then there's a tendency to get into accidents. So again, be a bit careful with that. Uh, make sure that all your health insurances are up to date or that you take out a health insurance before the year starts. Yeah, whatever it is, just ensure that you from your end have done everything that you can to um, make this a healthy year. Now, um, from a financial perspective, this is this can also a little bit be a little bit tricky. Um, chronic financial issues may actually come back to bite you in the ass in 2024. So reevaluate your financial plans before they get out of control and before you lose control. So Southwest uh, Destiny Palace is a bit of a challenge in 2024. I'm not going to lie. However, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a shit year. Yeah, uh, don't go into the year with that kind of mindset. Just take a look at what um, risks you are exposed to at the moment, minimize those risks, and then really consciously go through the year trying to avoid health issues and also financial issues as much as possible. We're not always in full control, but whatever you can do, uh, take control. Now, the next one is the West Palace. West Palace also uh, looks a little bit challenging. So those of you who have uh, their destiny palace in the West, you will have to deal with the pillar, the Theodore and the Six Harmony. Now, when the pillar and the Theodore appear together, um, they form a formation that's called um, Heavenly Net Earthly Web. And this usually means that it's almost like you're getting trapped in negative situations. Um, maybe you're getting trapped in, in other people's drama or in your own drama. So this is something to watch out for in 2024. With the Six Harmony, uh, which is usually considered a, a good deity, a good component. However, it acts as a multiplier. Now, if, uh, if you're going through good situations, then that multiplies. But if you're going through bad situations, it also multiplies the bad things. So you have to make sure to remove yourself from toxic situations, from toxic people as much as possible, because a lot of problems otherwise will just spin out of control. Now, um, for those with the Destiny Palace in the West, a lot of problems also come because you just don't really have the courage to face your, your problems. So you sort of um, fear take action early, and um, because of that, problems tend to spin out of control. So whenever something comes into your way, an obstacle and challenge, whatever, deal with it right away. Deal with it immediately before it can multiply into something much bigger. So um, really take that to heart, because if you nip things in the bud right away, you can eliminate a lot of the issues that will otherwise occur. Um, now, you also need to be a little bit careful with all the deals that you enter into in 2024, agreements that you sign, uh, maybe partnerships that you consider. Uh, some of them may be unfavorable to you, so make sure that uh, you have an exit clause if you're signing in a, a partnership agreement and make sure that you do read the fine print. Yeah, a lot of us, we don't like to read the fine prints. I include myself in that. It's not the most interesting thing to do, However, if your destiny palace is in the West, please make sure to uh, really, really um, uh, exercise due diligence in all the uh, agreements and contracts that you enter into in 2024. Now, lastly, with the pillar here, uh, the pillar has to do with speaking, with talking, with your verbal expression. So, um, 
it, there's a tendency that the things you say in 2024 cause you problems. So careful of getting into situations where you where you um, where you just communicate from a very emotional uh, uh, point of view. Yeah. So careful what you say. Careful how you express yourself. Otherwise, your uh, your words are going to cause you issues. Um, so yeah, this is it for the um, for all those of you who have their destiny palace in the West. Again, it's not all bad. Like there are a few risks, there are a few dangers. Uh, as long as you are careful throughout the year, this may not actually even affect you. This is why we look into it. And then obviously this is just for one year. This is not your entire life. So don't get too scared about these things. Um, just make sure that you, that you, avoid doing what is clearly indicated as being a risk. And then lastly, for the session, we're looking at the Northwest sector here. So all those of you who have the Northwest as their destiny palace, this is actually one of the best, best ones in 2024. Uh, the other one being the Northeast, which is a fantastic sector. We're going to talk about this in the next session. So uh, those who have the Destiny Palace in the Northwest, good luck to you, congratulations. Uh, we've got the open door here, which is always nice because it brings new opportunities. Um, it brings new chances to uh, maybe to do business, new opportunities, new people, whatever. There's new things coming into your life, but you need to say yes to these new opportunities. Um, a lot of us are afraid when something new comes, just like, oh, should we do it? Should we not do it? We're overanalyzing and overanalyzing is a form of bad luck. So be open to the opportunities that actually come into your life. Now, the heart star here indicates that you may have to re, uh, reorganize and reprioritize your life a little bit. Maybe you have to reorganize your schedule, your work your relationships, your priorities, your financials. Yeah, but you kind of need to do something to uh, shuffle your life around a little bit. Re check your priorities. Are they still the same priorities that you had 10 years ago? And they're maybe not even that valid anymore. Or do you need to change this up a little bit? Um, then we've got the double ding fire. Um, so this is something that gives you inspiration. So again, um, this goes hand in hand with open door yeah? new opportunities, new inspiration. You get new ideas. Uh, people who are not inspired, um, those are usually the people who never break out of their routine. Because if you're just sticking to routine, you do the same old, same old. How are you going to get inspired? You need to step outside your comfort zone to get inspired. You need to meet new people. And uh, and most innovation, most new ideas actually come from meeting new people and 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 seeing new viewpoints. So again, open door, um, uh, new opportunities together with the sting fire is really important that you don't just stick to your usual routine that you've been doing for the past two or three years, right? Go out and meet people. Um, and then lastly here, we've got the moon. The moon deity asks you to study something new, improve your knowledge and upgrade your skill set. Ideally, uh, something that you can actually monetize, yeah, because um, knowledge, when it's structured in, and packaged in a nice way, equals to money. So um, make sure that you can learn something that you can then ultimately also sell, yeah? So don't underestimate what you can do with your knowledge. Every one of us has a particular skill or talent that is unique to us that we that other people could benefit from. I hear so many times from clients that they who say, "Oh, I don't know anything. I'm I'm not good at anything. There's nothing I can actually contribute." And that is almost never true. <laughs> yeah. If you have a job, then certainly there is something about you that is of value otherwise you would not get paid for the work that you're doing. And maybe you have a side gig or a hobby that um, you're really passionate about, that you're really good about. You've never even thought about making money from it. So think about this. Again, reprioritize, reorganize your life. That is also uh, included in this new ideas as to how to make money. All right. So 
this is the uh, 2024 forecast for all those who have the Destiny Palace in the South or the Southwest or the West or the Northwest. Um, there's still time to prepare for the new year. Yeah, 2024, the Wood Dragon year only starts on February 4th, 2024. So you can get all your ducks in a row uh, prior to that and make sure that you have a fantastic start to the year. All right, uh, the second half of this forecast will come in the next session in a couple of days. And until then, thanks a lot for watching. If you do have any comments, any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Or you can also contact me directly. My email address is in the description to the video. Uh, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me for the year 2024, please reach out. Uh, I'm, happy to, um, I'm happy to help you out there. And in the meantime, please like the video, share it with anybody who may be interested and subscribe to my channel. All right. See you guys soon. Take care.